Hey everybody, welcome back to one of our uh, easy to cook recipes here on the grill. Um, if you watched our other videos, we try to make cooking very easy, very simple, and very good. And um, this is one of those things where we cook a lot of game meat. Um, typically, the game meat we cook, we uh, get ourselves, but on the East Coast, we don't have too many bison running around, but we prefer this over uh, regular ground beef. The reason being is that, um, obviously, this is... Um, a lot leaner. If you look at this, it's 90% lean, 10% fat. Um, it's 100% ground bison. Um, no antibiotics, no hormones. Um, nothing is, you know, overly processed here. Even says on here, uh, federal regulations do not permit the use of growth hormones in the bison. So, a um, little bit healthier cooking there. Um, this recipe is really, really simple. You've got pepper and salt. Um, I prefer Dale seasoning, but a lot of people don't know what that is. So if you don't have that, you can use Worcestershire sauce. Um, we're going to basically take the ground beef. We're going to put it in here. We're going to add a little bit of uh, the uh, sauce here to kind of make it nice and sticky, not too wet. Salt and pepper taste, and that's it. The difficult part here is cooking a very lean meat on a grill. It's easy to burn. It's easy to mess up, and we're going to show you how that process works as well. So let's uh, get this mixed up and into patties. All right, so we've got our uh, bison in the uh, bowl here. I put a little bit of dales in there, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm showing you this at this point because notice it doesn't look like it's swimming. You don't want it too wet. And when you go to mix it, you're going to notice that you know it's going to stick together, but it's not as if there's pools of dales down at the bottom. You want it to kind of stick together, and you want it to be still somewhat moist and not wet. That is extremely important because if it's really wet, you're going to get it on the grill and it's just going to flame up and sizzle up a lot. So, you see, it's still kind of almost like a paste. But, like I said, you don't have a whole lot of dale sticking at the bottom. We're going to make these into patties and we're going to stick them on the grill. All right, it's cook time. So, we made our burgers. We always make them roughly a quarter pound. Stick a little dimple in there so they don't uh, split in half. A little trick we've always uh, been accustomed to. Grill's been on for about 10-15 minutes. We've already brushed it off. It's ready to go. It's nice and clean. It's nice and hot. Here's the key here. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our left burner on low. Our middle burner, burner will be off. Our middle right burner will be off. And the other one will be on low. These two are on low. This is no heat for the first 10 minutes. This is really important. The grill is already extremely hot. You don't want to flame on these things when you first put them on there. You actually don't want to flame on them at all, but especially for the first 10 minutes. So, nice and hot in the middle. Burners low, low, and off and off. We'll let them simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, so we're about, uh, we're about 8 to 10 minutes into our cooking here. Um, our temperature is probably about 400, 450. You don't want it too hot. So I take our burgers here and we just kind of give them a quick little turn. Um, the point of all this kind of what I call my check-in videos here as we cook is that you notice nothing is on fire. There's no flame. We're at a very good cooking temperature of over 400 degrees, about 450 like I said. And we're just slowly cooking them. You don't want to burn these things. All right, it's flip over time. We've been cooking for about 18, 20 minutes. Notice nobody's on fire. We always kind of smush them down, see if there's any excess fat. This meat is so lean. There typically is not any excess fat. And we are going to give them a nice turn. Just try to take the ones in the front, put them in the back, kind of give them a little switch. The back is usually typically hotter. But these are looking perfect. Nothing is on fire, nothing's been burnt, there's no flame. It's what we call happy, happy, happy. So we're going to shut it down for about another 10 to 12 minutes, put some cheese on it, and eat them up. Alright, so now it's on to my favorite part, and this is because I think it's almost time to eat. I'm going to take a, a couple pieces of cheese here, throw them on a few of them here. Take a few buns. Oh, we uh, prefer our buns nice and toasted. I'll let those melt and uh, it's almost time to eat. 